So you've just bought your first personal computer, you've brought it home from the store, you're unpacking it, and then comes the moment of truth. If you've just bought your first personal computer, this show is for you. Computers were, in 1990, a disconnected device. It was a brick, right, that sat in your house and let you do amazing things that you'd never been able to do before. But it was essentially a productivity tool. Now that we have all these very powerful tools, we're still islands, and we're still not really connecting these people using these powerful tools together. Apple was in a period of decline. Steve Jobs quit in kind of a temper tantrum in 1985, and he went off and started a company called Next. After he left, there was a sequence of pretty boring, unimaginative corporate leadership that followed him. So why did you leave Apple? Well, why, 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 why did I leave Apple? Why, oh, why, I was asked to leave. Yeah, I was asked to leave Apple. I, I was planning on spending the rest of my life there, but didn't work out that way. Steve Jobs was a genius, but one of the reasons he got moved out of his job was because he was spending huge amounts of money on projects that, for the most part, never reached the market. And Apple had a crisis of confidence. At a time when major computer corporations like Apple are laying off 10% of their workforce, Microsoft is the big exception in the computer industry. People didn't get how much value there was to be derived from software that the operating system could be the most valuable piece of real estate in the whole computing business was something not understood by almost anybody in the computer industry apart from Bill Gates.